welcome to another episode of Henry and Josh's Unboxing Show. I'm Henry Higgins. And I'm Josh Higgins. And as you can see, we have been quite busy over the last couple of weeks getting some stuff in. Uh, don't worry, we're not going to be unboxing all of these on the show today. Um, these will be over the coming weeks. Today we're going to concentrate on the Kuposket Harley Quinn figure and the Atomica figure. Um, but in the coming weeks we're going to be having Zatanna, most of the Stranger Things kids B2 from Near Automata Star Wars Sabine Wren figure from the Disney Infinity Collection uh, We actually really like those figures, uh, they're done in a really cute style uh, We have Matoi Ryuko, and I hope I pronounced that correctly, from Kill the Kill But I said we're only opening two figures today, so let's get to it so which one should we do first? I think we should start with the Harley Quinn one. Oh, okay, so we'll put this one over here for now. Um, interesting story with this one. This came from AliExpress. That uh, means it was delivered from China. And when, a lot of the time when you order from AliExpress, you get the option of getting it with or without a box. Um, it can be actually quite a fair bit cheaper without the box sometimes. Uh, this one, the difference was only 60p. So I said I'll get it with the box. What it means is it doesn't come in the box, it comes with the box. So I actually had to re-box her before we could unbox her. Uh, there you go. It's, a, it's a decent box, as you can see it's obviously it's not in all that great condition simply because it was flat packed. Mm -hmm. But let's put that there actually. Nice little box. So she comes in a few pieces. Um, we do have a Q Posket figure of Harley Quinn as well. Yeah. So what we will do is we will when we do some pictures at the end we will get some shots of her on her own, but we'll also get some shots of her with the other one. And the difference between this one and the other figure is this one is the Harley Quinn is wearing the other one is based on the Suicide Squad films. Yeah this is a uh, new fifty two Harley yeah. Quinn. Okay, so she comes with a little sledgehammer on a pole here. Got the big oversized head, which is in keeping with the Q-Posket. It also means you can turn her head a little bit, which I don't think you can do with the other one. Okay, here we have it on the stand. It's quite a decent sized figure, like most mm -hmm. of them are. They're not too tall, like some other ones we showed at the start. Uh, well, she has a very good base. Stand up's easy with see the little nibbins that the feet go into mm -hmm. and description of the actual figure obviously red and black got the mallet going behind here and on the back she has a tiny little cape and like it is usually the colour ste colour scheme really fits well. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice dark shade of blue. Um, it's a cute little figure, the Q the Q Posca ones are really cute. They do more than Harley Quinn, um, but a little bit of a Harley Quinn addict at the moment. So she's the one I went for. Um, so yeah, that was six ninety nine from uh, AliExpress. Uh, there'll be a link in the description below uh, for the site. Unfortunately, I can't link to the actual item because YouTube flags it up. Yeah. Um, as like a sales and advertising thing and so I'll just link to AliExpress and then you can just search Harley Quinn from there but yeah very good value for money and a nice little addition to the collection do you agree? I do agree out of 10 I was only 8 8 out of 10 yeah I'll say the same I mean obviously the, the, the feet Aren't going into the base isn't like as good as I would like. It's the easiest but, thing to put in the, yeah. the mallet, isn't it? The easiest thing. No, but it looks good and I'm happy with it overall. <laughs> Up next, we have from the DC Comics Icons collection uh, Atomica, who I don't actually know very much about at all. Uh, she's not a character I'm familiar with, but the color scheme really jumped out at me and the fact that it comes with three figures I was kind of like yeah let's go with that so let's get her open and see what the fuss is about as always Josh what's the rules when using a knife if 
you're younger, you should probably ask for supervision. Mm -hmm, just um, be careful, basically. Try and keep it away from your hands when you're cutting, so you don't cut yourself. Mm -hmm. And always, if you're using a retractable blade, retract the blade when you're done. Okay. So, like I say, this comes with three figures. It also comes with some interchangeable hands and this little gubbins here. Not being familiar with the character, uh, I'm not really sure who the smaller ones are and what the relation to uh, the female version is. Uh, so if anyone in the comments can help me out with that, that would be ideal. Uh, also means then I don't really know what the little gubbin is, but we'll just stumble through and see what we come up with, yeah? So, if we pop this off first. I always do like these ones, because they come with these little inserts, and they're actually really nice displays, like background displays for the figures. Um, so they're always handy. So we have the figures. And like you see, there's the main figure there, there's this little one, and then there's this tiny one. Now, looking at it, it looks like the tiny one fits in here. So the tiny one goes on this stand. So that's cool. But I don't know what this is, I don't know if this goes around them maybe? Because there's nothing... Oh! Yes, there is! So that has a little stand as well. Now that is cool! You see that there? Uh, we'll get some good shots of that later. And so there's that figure. This one has some articulation. Um, Head moves, shoulders, and hips move on this one. So, again, it looks like he is an actual bigger version of this one. So it looks like there might actually be some kind of rhyme or reason for them to. So the large one obviously has more articulation to the smaller ones. So, going from the bottom up, it has articulation in the heels. You can move mm. um, in all directions, up, down, left, and right. Um, on the knees, going to yeah, and then just double jointed on the knees, yeah. yeah. The hips can move um, forward and to the side. Um, the wrists can turn. Yeah, and as you see, also got replacement hands. So obviously, you can yeah. change it from open to closed hands gripping. Um, maybe she grips this as well, which could be interesting. Um, she also has articulation in the elbows. It's a bit stiffer than the other ones, but still does have it there. Um, the shoulders, I believe, do have some. You can move the arm up and forward. Yeah, it's pretty much all range of motion, really, yeah. isn't it? Um, the head or the neck. Mm -hmm. Move up. Yeah, plenty. Uh, like I see the waist. She's got some turning in the waist there as well, turn around. What I really like actually, is a nice little detail, is that the, the detail in the hair. Now you can maybe make it out there. Um, obviously we're going to get some better shots that will be on for the end of the video. Um, and you'll see what I mean there when we get some real closer ones. But this is a really, really nice figure. I really like this one. Again, it's a character I don't really know. So there's no like emotional investment. Uh, like Zatanna, which we're going to be doing another time, is one of my favourite DC characters. So there's some emotional attachment there. Whereas with Atomica, I genuinely got her simply because I like the look of her. And in fact, she comes with these little men. Price, which was five, sorry, four ninety nine from B and M. So get yourself down to B and M to catch that. Um, it should have been six ninety nine, but they actually were in like it was a clear out sale as well. So I've been meaning to get it for a while, but when I saw it was a clear out sale, I thought, yeah, yeah, let's get it. So I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy that it comes with three figures, really, for the price of one. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's definitely a nine out of ten for me. I'll give it. I give it an eight out of ten. Mm. She, um, giving it a higher out because of the fact that, like you said, it does come with three figures. Mm -hmm. Has a nice little design piece. Here. Yeah, it's obviously the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, it's a really, really, really good figure. Can't really make it out from there, um, but there's actually a really cool shadow effect going on with the flash or the light from the camera, creating this lovely little effect here, which is really cool. So I'm more in love with this character now. As I said, we are going to be having some images of these at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. By the time we do the next unboxing video though, very exciting news, finally ordered a rotating, well all turntables rotate, but a motorised turntable to display the figures. So it'll just be a case of plopping a figure on the turntable and letting it turn, so we can get some really good shots of that without the need to lift it up and turn it around. But for today, that is what we have. Very happy with those purchases. As I said, there'll be a link below and where you can get them if you're interested. Any final words, Josh? Any final words, Josh? Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like and share the video. Subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell. And we'll see you all next time.